Hi guys, back today with another math GCSE and IGCSE video and it's all to do with linear sequences and Martin's mum Leslie is back to help and she's going to talk us through this topic. Hi, this is Leslie here. Okay, today we're going to talk about sequences. So I'm going to start off by reminding you the meanings of a few words. So the word sequence itself is a list of numbers. It's just a list of numbers which are connected to each other in some way. A linear sequence, and I will explain further when we get to the end of doing the example because then it's much clearer to see, uh, to see what I mean. But basically, it's one where when you get a general term, the highest power of n in the term is just one. And the word coefficient and the coefficient is just the number in front of a letter. So, for example, if you had 2n, the coefficient would be 2. If you had minus 7n, the coefficient would be minus 7, and so on. So, let's start looking at a sequence of numbers. Now, the sequence of numbers we're going to look at is the sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, and that's going to go on indefinitely. The first thing to do is to list the position of each of these terms. So above this, I'm going to write the position of each term. So that's my first term. The 7 is my second term. The 10 is my third term. The 13 is my fourth term, and so on. And it really does help if you write the little st and nd and this th these little superscripts up there because it helps you to keep clear the difference between the position of the term and the value of the term. So the position of my first term is 1 and the value of it is 4. The position of my second term is 2 and the value of it is 7. And I'm going to try and find the value of a general term which is denoted by, the position of it is denoted by the nth term. And I'm going to try and find the value of this term. Now, depending on which exam board you are with, different notations are used. It may be denoted by t with a little n, it may be denoted by a small t with a little n, or it may be denoted by t with an n in brackets. But they're all the same thing, they're just saying, Try and find an expression that connects a general value in the sequence with its position. So I'm going to start off by taking away each number in the sequence from the number after it. So I'm going to do 7 take away 4, which is 3, 10 take away 7, which is also 3, and 13 take away 10, which is also 3. And this is called the first line of differences. The first differences. Because it's the first time I've taken the terms away from each other. Now, if you notice, I happen to have the same number occurring every time. And if this is indeed a linear sequence, this is what you would expect. Because this common difference, this number 3, gives you the coefficient of the n. So I know that my general term is going to be 3n plus something, or it might be 3n minus something. And I've still got to find what this something is, but I do know it's going to be 3n plus or minus something. Now this is why it's a linear sequence, because the highest power of n I'm getting is just this single n with a power of 1. In a later video, we will talk about other more difficult sequences where you can have an n squared. But for these, it's just the, value, the n is the highest power we get to. So, I know at the moment that um, whatever my position is, I've got to multiply it by 3. So, looking at these numbers here, these positions, I'm going to multiply each of those numbers by 3. 3 times 1 gives me 3, 3 times 2 gives me 6, 3 times 3 gives me 9, 
3 times 4 gives me 12. Now, if I take these away from my original sequence, these values here, so 4 take away 3 is 1, 7 take away 6 is 1, 10 take away 9 is 1, 13 take away 12 is 1. You can see that each time to get the value of the number in the sequence, I've taken its position, multiplied it by 3, which gives me the 3, and then add 1 to give me 4. 2 multiplied by 3 gives me 6, add 1 gives me 7. 3 multiplied by 3 gives me 9, add 1 gives me 10. 3 multiplied by 4 gives me 12, add 1 gives me 13. So I now know that each term is made up of 3 times its position plus the number 1. And that is the general term in this sequence. So let's have a look at an example. I'll read the question out to you. The first five terms in an arithmetic sequence are 12, 17, 22, 27, 32. Write down in terms of n an expression for the nth term of this sequence. First of all, just to remind you, an arithmetic sequence is just one where there's a constant difference between the terms of the sequence. The safest way to do this is to start off by writing each term underneath its position. So the positions are going to be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. They're the ones we are given and we're going to try and find an expression for the nth term. Then write down the value underneath its position. So we're given the sequences 12, 17, 22, 27, 32. Okay, start by finding the difference between each term and the next one. So 17 take away 2 is 5, 22 take away 7 is 5, 27 take away 22 is 5, and 32 take away 27 is 5. And because it's an arithmetic sequence, you would expect to get the same value each time. And this is called the first differences. So we have a constant difference of five. So I know even at this early stage that my nth term will be 5n plus something or 5n minus something as this number 5 gives you the coefficient of n. To find what the something is, multiply the position by this number 5. So I'm going to do 1 times 5, which is 5, 2 times 5, which is 10, 3 times 5, which is 15, 4 times 5, which is 20, 5 times 5, which is 25. Take this away from the actual value so 12 minus 5 is 7, 17 minus 10 is 7, 22 minus 15 is 7, 27 minus 20 is 7, 32 minus 25 is 7. So every time I know that once I have got my value of 5n, I need to add 7 onto it. So we end up with the nth term is equal to 5n plus 7. Very, very easy to check. If your value is 1, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 7 is 12. If your value is 2, 5 times 2 plus 7 is 10 plus 7 is 17, etc. Let's have a look at an example where the method is the same, but arithmetic is a little bit more difficult. The first four terms of an arithmetic sequence are 58, 50, 42, 34. Write down in terms of n an expression for the nth term of the sequence. I'm going to start off by writing down the position notation. So we have the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and we are going to try and find an expression for the nth term. We have the value of each term. The first term is 58, the second term is 50, the third term is 42, and the fourth term is 34. 
And if you notice this time, the values actually decrease. So when I take each term away from the next one, the sum I am doing is 50 take away 58, which is a negative 8. 42 take away 50 is a negative 8. And 34 take away 42 is a negative 8. So this time, I know my coefficient of n, that is the number in front of n, is going to be um, a negative 8. So I know my nth term is going to be of the form minus 8n plus something or minus 8n minus something. And we need to try and find out what that something is. So to do that, as before, I'm going to multiply each position by negative 8. So 1 times negative 8 gives me negative 8. 2 times negative 8 gives me negative 16. 3 times negative 8 gives me negative 24. And 4 times negative 8 gives me negative 32. Now take each of those away from the value, but be careful, you are taking these away from the value. So the sum you are doing, I will write it down for you, is 58 minus negative 8. And minus a negative number is equivalent to adding on your number. So you're doing 58 plus 8, which is 66. The next sum I'm going to do is 50 minus negative 16. So it's 50 plus 16, which is also 66. Then I'm doing 42 minus negative 24, which again gives me 66. And lo and behold, 34 minus negative 32 also gives me 66. In other words, although it seems a huge number, each time to get the value of the term I have to add on 66. So my nth term this time is minus 8n plus 66. Or if you want to write it another way around, that's the same as 66 minus 8n. So just to check, the first position, my n is 1, 66 minus 8 times 1 is 66 minus 8, which is indeed 58. When I'm in the second position, my n is 2, 8 times 2 is 16, 66 minus 16 does indeed give me 50. So that's the expression we're looking for. <laughs>